so great to be back. I'm getting back on schedule. If you don't know, I definitely missed you. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you for being here. But I'm going to get right to it. It's about me really thinking about recently cutting down the jobs. I wouldn't say that I'm working too much, but I know that working directly my time for my money, giving up my time directly for money for a wage that I'm always going to want to make more. And the reality is I need to follow the next plan that God has for me, the plan that I'm, I'm making. And it's not easy. Coming back from the island, it opened up my eyes so much. And I'm the kind of person that wants to move so fast, jump right into things and knock it out, take care of it handle business right but i know and i'm humble enough to to pump the brakes a little bit and i had to figure out what's on my plate right now and it's difficult for me if you have not seen my other videos where i spoke about uh work i try to keep everything very positive now i'm a very forward and open person so I just choose not to reveal too much of the truth, if that makes sense to you. So as far as work goes, I'm trying to figure out if I need to pivot or start working only ride share. I know it sounds crazy. And I was just thinking about if I want to tell you about just people, not people, but a conversation that I had with my wife, but it's just deeper than that. Myself personally, I need to get to a place to where I don't care about what people say or think about me because there's still a small part of me that does, but I'm working on only caring about what God says and or thinks about me. And I say that because I presented the thought or the option to my wife about working full-time lift. And she looks at me like, oh, did your other job fire you? And I'm just like, no, but there's not a, oh, okay. There's not an immediate support there. And for me, it's kind of like a flag, not the color of green or a shade of green. It's like a, like, no, you shouldn't be doing that. And I get it. The common, not the common person, but the majority of people, these are just my, how I think, right? In our world, if you took a vote or a poll, right? The majority of people would think the same way. Would say, oh yeah, no, you shouldn't. You know, you have a family that you provide for working full time lift, you know, I wouldn't do that out of out of your jobs. No, nah, don't don't do that. Don't pick that one for full time. But my other full my other job, it's full time, but it's a strict straight forty. And I just wanna be at peace. I just want to make sure that I'm always putting my best foot forward. And I just feel the need to elevate. I, I, I need more. I want more for my family. And the flip side is be more humble. Take the one job. Less, you know, less hours potentially or stay at the job. Figure out a way to still learn and grow and obtain skills for I, I dwindled it down to what I want to do. I believe got a couple of things. I'm getting real close, but the point is I learn and get the skills, right? Working just the one job and then 
we have to learn to live below our means. And that's when it gets to potentially could get a little bit difficult because I just love being able to provide the best way that I can for my family. I don't want us to live poor. And I don't mean that in any kind of a, a, a bad way. I just don't know any other words to say besides living below our means. And I just, we have one life to live. I understand I have to be responsible and save and do my due diligence there. But in the same breath, I'm learning to be able to enjoy life because I don't want to be the kind of person that has to leave my, my life at the door of work and vice versa. It's just something inside of me. I don't like being fake or fake people. It's just, <clears throat> I, I understand how people think, the philosophy behind it, but I want to be my full, complete self, comfortable with myself in my skin, right? And when it comes to to jobs and work, I'm I'm learning now that it's just deeper than just money. I'm I'm there to learn and grow, and I'm becoming a new man. This trip to the island just really opened up my eyes. Even here at home, I'm seeing like problems and things that usually happen, but my perspective and how I need to change and grow and how I can help our family for the better and keep fighting and keep pushing forward. I'm just so grateful for the experience. I want to go deeper into it. I don't want to digress too much for the purposes of this video. I really need to figure out if I need to stop working so many jobs and just focus on one job or not focus on one job, have one job. So that way I have the time freed up to be able to learn new skills and grow. But then, in this, but then in the same breath, will that be worth living so frugally and being, you know, barely be able to, I'll be paying, maybe set up plans with people who I owe money. Oh, here's $10 a month. Best I can do. It's like, and then, you know, eating, you know, I'll, I'll probably start cooking. You hear me? But the point is, is that, will that be worth it? Is that worth it? I, I have to pray. I have to think. I had to go, I need to revisit the budgeting and life is going to happen. But I encourage you to please be your best self and be you. Don't let anyone corner you into being or forcing you to be anything less than yourself. You should not be uncomfortable having to be something else or shell of yourself. Remember that. Obviously, if you can recognize and you know if you have things that you have to fix and change that aren't right, I'm not saying be yourself if yourself isn't someone that can, you know, kind of be in certain places. Know who you are, know your environment, right? But overall, generally speaking, we should not feel forced to be anything short of your best you, your best self. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. I appreciate you. I'm back. I'll be trying to create more videos and more content for you. It's just a lot going on in my head, a lot going on in the dome, but I appreciate and love you.